Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to do a sketch with Procreate. This is the finished product. So you'll need an iPad and the app Procreate as well as the Apple Pencil to get started. All right, you're going to open a new drawing canvas and I chose a 12 by 12. Um, try to do a resolution of 300. Then you're going to go ahead and go to Canvas, Drawing Guide, and Edit. And then you're going to select the perspective option. And then you're going to tap onto the canvas and kind of shift it. I'm choosing a two point perspective, so I'm going to go ahead and create one point and then I'm going to tap it again and choose another point. So that helps you um, get the perspective that you want it to be. You can shift it around if you want. Um, I like to leave it a little further away from one another so that it looks more realistic. So once you're happy with it, you can let it go. If you want to change the other side, that's fine. Um, and then when you're happy with it, that's all you have to do. You click Done, and then you can get going. So select the color of the pen, and I've been using a gel pen. And then I'm going to click on the layer and select Assisted. And that's how we'll get started. So that means it'll lock in. Every time you uh, draw a line, it'll give you either a vertical line or a line going to your right vanishing point or left vanishing point. So here in, is my initial right wall, I mean left wall, and then now the right wall. So then I start boxing in the furniture placement. I have my sofa here. Now, this video takes into account that you already have watched the video for um, two-point perspective that I've already um, posted. Uh, you have to actually know the vanishing points and stuff first before you really can get to the procreate level because you won't understand. So make sure you watch those videos so that you can understand how vanishing points work. Um, so right now I'm just boxing out the different items of furniture I have in the room. Um, I really like this uh, procreate feature, this perspective feature. It is super fun so I'm able to quickly go ahead and box out our room. I don't have to get out my T-square. I don't have to, you know, get out my supplies. I just have my iPad and my Apple Pencil. So right now I'm boxing in the perspective of the room. So it looks something like this. So once that is kind of boxed in and like the proportions look good to you, um, I'm dropping in the center line for my light fixture to come in where it's going to drop in the room. And again, this stuff is explained in the vanishing in the two-point perspective video. So this procreate version is the more advanced level. Um, so now I'm going to box out the side tables and the other side table because it's kind of it's on the same track, so you can still use the same line. So I have another layer going on, and I'm going to again use ink but I use the tinderbox. Now this is with the latest update for Procreate uh, edition 5 or something like that. Um, what I've done is I've lowered the opacity of the bottom layer so that it's a light gray so now I've taken off the drawing assist so it's not snapping to be a rigid straight line so I'm using my freehand drawing at this point to get all the forms because I have curvilinear forms so you don't want to have the drawing assist on there. Um, so this is again another layer on top of it. So I usually work um, forwards to the back wall so that way I'm not going ahead and trying to draw something that I'm going to cover up anyway. So in the foreground I have the coffee table then I have the the sofa. So I'll use the box that I have underneath to kind of help guide my lines for the sofa or the furniture or any any item that I'm drawing. And again, you're going to need to use your reference photos. As you're drawing, you have the box for the general sizes, but you always want to use the reference photos so that you can get the little details that all the pieces have. Um, I've added some hot dog pillows, so it's, uh, round pillows, and a regular pillow here. And then if you have, um, let's see, this is the artwork, so it's still the very um, box like. The underneath layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw the form of my light fixture. I base it off a cylinder and then I kind of tweak it a little bit so it looks like the 
um, reference image I have. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and try to put some crown molding throughout the room. I'll lay out the general outlines. Um, this one is the base molding that I have around the room. So it comes back around here. Now this will be fine-tuned later on, but at least it kind of gives you the general line that you'll take. And this goes into that alcove area, so I can go ahead and erase my foreground lines. And that's a good kind of quick trick. Um, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, sketch in the forms of the foreground chairs that's um, getting cut off in the foreground. And then I realized my box in the background is a little short, so it doesn't look right. So I'm going to go ahead and raise the height of the seat, or the back, so it looks more correct. And then I draw accessories on the coffee table, so it has a sense of scale and some interest to it. Uh, so that it has, um, so it looks more styled, like a space that you would, you would, you would want to visit. Um, now I'm boxing out my end table. I have two layers, or two, it's a two-tiered end table. And um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side before I add um, my lamp. So I have to use a center guideline for the lamp. And then once you do the center guideline, you can make sure it's symmetrical on both sides of the center guideline. And that's why we use the center guideline when we're drawing. It helps keep things more accurate. Um, now we're going to work on the alcove a little bit. Um, hints at the window treatment. Some layers there. The casing around the window. Some action lines for the glass to show reflectivity. Now the rough in the area rug. So it looks something like this as you as you go along. Now I'm going to work on the ceiling. So this might start a tray ceiling, but if I want to add some coffers in there, I'll do the division lines and then give it some depth to it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase the lines that I had drawn in the back um, to so that it's not too busy. So I know that this chair covers the sofa lines. I'll try to clean it up a little bit just so that again this is for a quick sketch to show your your client or for a project if you're doing that and you want to show them really quickly your vision of the space and you don't have a lot of time this is it going to be like the fine-tuned um, fancy kind of perspective this is just the quick one to show the conceptual idea of what you what you have in mind um, and that's why I like uh, the quick lines here, but it's just a little cleaned up version. And then we're going to throw in a, a little color, and this whole thing can be done in a relatively quick time frame um, compared to something that's really developed. Now we're going to add another layer, and we're going to slide it underneath the drawing layer. Um, we're going to choose like a grayish color and we're going to start to we're going to select a drawing um, the Oberon pen tip in the gray I've lightened it a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and adjust the pen size and we're going to go ahead and put some color on there so it looks like it's three-dimensional rather than just a line drawing um, this, this just helps show some interest to your sketch. Um, you can leave it just a plain line drawing, it's fine, but this is as if you were using a grayscale marker to quickly show some um, volume. Okay, so uh, I like this um, Oberon because you can layer um, color just like if you were using marker. And this is part of the new Procreate update. If you don't have that in your options, you probably just need to update your Procreate. Um, so here we go, adding the different gray to the form, and I'll let you see that.
Now that my gray has been added to give the room a basic um, dimension, I'm going to add some gold tones to give it a little pop. Um, some areas of interest here for my light fixture. You can choose the color and you know, you're just kind of hinting at the form and what kind of materials you're using. Sometimes I turn on and off the layers just to kind of see what it looks like without the lines. But at least now you can say, okay, here's my metal accent. Um, here's where my glass will be. Um, and that's basically uh, what I would do for this kind of quick, quick sketch version for Procreate. It's something nice to show and you can do it. It takes less than an hour to get all this done. And it's more interesting than a basic boxy um, computer aid drawing that looks like everybody else's. Uh, but that's totally up to you. If you like that way, then go ahead and check out those videos. Um, here is some more like showing like this is going to be a marble top. This is going to be glass over here. I'll have concrete versus rugs. So you're just hinting at the texture. You're not spending a ton of time because this is just your quick sketch version of it. And that's my puppy.
So this is how I approach a quick sketch uh, rendering. Uh, this took me less than an hour to do and it's something that you can do very quickly to show your client or for class for a presentation so people can get an idea of the space that you have in mind. I hope that helps you and I'll see you next time. The next video I'll show you the more finished, more polished rendering of the same room using Procreate. So I'll see you then.